Go free to turn some. I am five foot nine and I am 622 pounds. I'm fat and I absolutely love it. Shattering all the stereotypes, Gabby is not only proud to be obese, but she is also using her size to make a lucrative living. Two, one. I think it's saying fat is coming back and it's okay to be fat. That's fat acceptance right there. Hey, Fruit Bats, it's really the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So it was gonna be Motivational Mondays today, but it's Tuesday, almost Thursday now. No, Wednesday. So it's gotta be Truthful Tuesdays. I was gonna do a video yesterday, but I did an 83K ride unplanned in the hot sun, in the wind, and I got pretty trashed. So I didn't do the video, so here we are today. And the topic is... Okay, this is a very controversial topic. Hella controversial. It really is, a, particularly in the USA and Australia, because we are the fattest countries on the planet. And it is nothing to be proud of, that's for sure. But there's this population of people emerging who want to kind of push that under the carpet, you know, not, not focus on that, and wants people to feel, you know, comfortable being fat and being obese. Yeah. You know, and this, this fat shaming thing that people love to say now, is it, it completely alleviates any responsibility you have for your own physical shape. And I think it's ridiculous, okay? I'm here to help people get fit, lean, healthy, feel their best. So when I see people abusing themselves via the fork or being sedentary, I have to speak up. I have to say something because I actually give a shit. You know, I have the guts to speak up and to tell them, hey, the here is a better way. You know, I don't insult them and go, oh, you're a fat ugly pig or something like that. No, I say, look, have you ever thought about trying this? Here's a high carb raw vegan, high carb cooked vegan lifestyle. And you know what? People are appreciative because they don't know. They don't have the message. When we get this message, we have a responsibility to pass it on to people who need it. So if you're coming to this lifestyle, you're coming to this channel and you've just found out about this lifestyle, seriously, excellent. Pat yourself on the back because you have found a lifestyle that is gonna help you transform into that person that you should be to emerge out of the fat suit and to embrace that person that you really dream about being. You have found the channel, watch my videos, the inspiration is here. Okay, because we are in a grip, the grips of a terrible epidemic. This obesity epidemic is out of control. Over 800 people every day in the USA die from obesity related disease. Over 800 people, folks. Oh my goodness me. It looks like a hot tub. This is our largest casket. It's 52 inches wide. It'll hold over a thousand pounds. So we're talking 70, 80 plus stone. How many of these are called for? In the 1990s, yeah. this casket didn't even exist. Right. In 2000, we sold 12, and we're selling about four of this type per month. So can I have a look inside sure. it? Sure. Is that all right? Absolutely. Oh, golly, it's heavy. I mean, it's absolutely mind-boggling. Well, you can actually get three people in this casket. This casket will require probably two grave plots, maybe three. It won't fit in a hearse. And I would imagine the person that's going into this this side is not very old either. Unfortunately not. The average age for my records is around 45 years old. Oh, that's we've had, shocking. We've had caskets, large caskets, not this size, but caskets for as young as 11 years old. I'm really distressed. Women on average in the USA and Australia are like five foot four, 160 pounds, and like a size 14 American. That is too much weight to carry around on your frame, and it is increasing your risk of all the major diseases. We've known for 15 years that a single meal High in animal fat, uh, sausage and egg McMuffin was used in the original study, can paralyze our arteries, right? cutting their ability to relax normally in half within hours of eating animal products. The whole lining of our vascular tree gets inflamed and stiffened. Right? And just as that inflammation, so here's hours, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just as that inflammation, right? Just as that crippling of our arteries starts to finally calm down after five or six hours, lunchtime. Heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, gout, all the major diseases. It is increasing so many times, the more weight you carry on your frame. It's a fact, folks. It's not my opinion. The stats are there if you want to research it. 
So we want you to be healthy. We want you to be fit. Do we want you to be comfortable? You know, like, oh, you know, big is beautiful. There's this big is beautiful campaign. And it's, you know, look, it is fantastic to feel good about yourself, to have a good self-esteem. I am all for that. But are we lulling people into a false sense of security? When we say, you know, big is beautiful, embrace your body at any size. Are we almost saying to people, it's okay. You don't have to change. So when we take that responsibility away from people, then they become even sicker and fatter. We need to help motivate people who have obesity and who are overweight. Rob is swapping with Donna. Both of them have really bad mobility issues um, and health problems because of their weight. So I'm hoping that they're going to have got on and that Donna is really teaching Rob a lesson or two. Well, she's beginning by taking Rob for his first taste of supersized American portions at her favorite restaurant. Amazingly, even Rob, who can consume 7,000 calories a day at home, is struggling to clear his massive plate. To be honest, I was shocked how much she ate. Like, she, I had one starter, she had two or maybe three. I'm really finding it overwhelming. If Rob thought his monster burger was overwhelming, wait till he sees his cream puff. Whoa. It's loads of cream. I like my cream, but this is way too much. <laughs> that was over the top, giant, massive. Even though I like my cakes, I know now, I, I, if I want to lose weight, I need to cut loads of stuff out. He's calculated that Rob's body mass index is an astounding 86, more than treble the healthy upper limit of 25. You're a little bit in denial about your, your weight. Yeah. Your body mass is the highest that I have ever had. Really? Yeah, really. It's really important, <laughs> Rob, that you know these things. I think you've lived a lot of your life in a bit of denial about the weight. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah? And you have to stop that now. Yeah. Isn't it? If you really mean what you say, it's time you face up yeah. to these horrible truths. Yeah? And it's not too late. And I know some of you out there are like, hey, mind your own business freely, live and let live, people can eat what they want, people can do what they want, why are you such a nosy parker? Well, this is why, because I actually care. I want to see these people thrive. I was overweight myself once. I wasn't obese, but I was overweight, and I know how crap it is feeling that way. And you can lie to yourself and say, oh, I'm perfectly healthy, or maybe you think you're perfectly healthy, but have you truly, truly experienced real health? real thriving because most people haven't so they don't have anything to compare that to all right so now i have this to compare to i realized how unhealthy i was being 40 pounds overweight i realized it was a terrible terrible place to be and i can see society normalizing obesity and then when we see someone who's you know 20 30 40 pounds overweight we're like oh you know they're healthy that's normal they're healthy you know compared to someone who's obese so what you're eating is affecting everybody around you. The animals that you're eating, the environment around you, it is being affected by what you're eating. The children in your life, the next generation's watching you, you're an example for that next generation. So you have a responsibility, responsibility to conduct yourself well and to look the part. There's also the issue of the taxpayer's money. $140 billion, with a B, billion dollars, goes towards obesity-related problems every single year. All right, and that has doubled in the last decade. So the problem is not getting better, folks. So what do we need to change? We need to give out some tough love, all right? We don't have to abuse people, but we do have to be honest with them. And people out there who are like, oh, you know, you're fat shaming freely, you're fat shaming because you're focusing on people's weight. No, I'm being honest, I'm being honest. If you cannot get honest with yourself and realize you have a problem and you need to change, then how are you gonna help yourself? How are you gonna get out of the grips of obesity and, over, and out of that overweight place that you're at? And step up. You know, giving people sympathy while they're in that state of being obese or overweight, saying they're there, it's okay, that is basically disabling them. That's saying it's all right to stay there. It's all right to stay unhealthy. It's all right, don't worry about it. And that is really being gutless, okay? You have to step up, have empathy for them, sure. You know, you can relate to their situation or you can appreciate they're in a bad place, but if you have sympathy, you are really just not helping them at all. So help them by providing solutions and saying, look, okay, you're feeling bad, try this. 
And if they don't try it, then they don't really want to change. And some people, you just have to let them go. You do. But I recommend you speak up at least once with everyone you know that has an issue, who is obese or overweight. You speak up at least once and tell them about a high carb raw vegan or high carb cooked vegan lifestyle because these people are dying to know. They're absolutely dying to know. We need to really get a grip. You know, when my grandma was young, there was hardly a, an overweight person around. Rarely, very, very rarely. So that shows that we're doing something wrong. We are shoving in the wrong food. We are crash dieting. We're doing all these crazy things to our metabolism. So it's time to write your metabolism, folks. It's time to step on this high carb lifestyle. This is what works, you've found the answer. So when you come across someone who needs help, have the guts to speak up and help that person. You may not be received well, but at least they heard that message and they have a chance to change. Because you would be surprised at how many people actually will follow up what you say, even if at the time it doesn't seem like they're listening. They will follow it up. I've had this experience many, many times. Okay, so that's my message today. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. And I will see you for What I Eat Wednesdays. Bye. Well, we're on... The, the, the projections is that, that we'll have 75% overweight or obese in this country by 2015. And just to put some context around this, it, the New York Times article that came out saying, in the fatosphere, big is in, or at least accepted. Could you imagine if that headline had read, thin and skinny rather than fat and big? The outcry would have been immediate and thunderous. And the reality is while anorexia is so serious, we lose about 200 lives a year to anorexia. With obesity, it's 800 lives every day.